Hi, chat. Hello. Welcome to Magic the Gathering Arena Standard with Logan and Kelly. I am Kelly. This is Logan. Uh, today we are going to be playing some dragons. That's right. Uh, oh, yeah, our game capture is not working right. One second, chat. Let me reset that. Oh, so just not in the right place. It would not there be a stream without tape. Sorry, had to fix that really quick. Chat, uh, real quick, the audio levels. Do we sound good? Can you hear us? Is our mic messing up? Sound a little wonky. Like robotic? Like your beard wonky, or... That was a little mean, I'm sorry. Here, we took a lot of uh, filters off. Yes, robotic. How about now? How about now? Better? Better. Still robo? How's it going, Josh? Josh. Alright, I took uh, all the filters off pretty much. Are we robotic still? If so, it's something wrong with our microphones. Oh no. Anything to that? Anything better? Better or worse? Better one or two? You guys had your eyes checked recently? One or two? Three or four? Way better. Okay, well, we'll stick with this for a while. Uh, we're actively trying to fix some audio issues uh, where a lot of people who talk a little quieter when they're on the streams or in the D&D streams in particular. Uh, can't hear him. Can't hear him at all. Uh, and then there's a terrible echo most of the time. So we're just trying to cut down on that. Um, yeah, if you guys can hear us, we'll go ahead and get started. Oof. Oof. Can't you know what I'm talking about? You're right, though. Hey, I got some plans to try and fix it, but uh, we got to do some testing, some in house tests. We could probably do more. A lot of uh, Tomorrow I'm going to dedicate myself to getting all the audio issues for you guys to um, in the meantime, let's get into some gameplay here. Let's do it. Uh, let's take a look at our deck that we're going to be running today. Uh, we're going to be playing Is It Dragon? Uh, so if any of y'all watched the, uh, the Blue White Aggro stream, y'all know that we took real fat L's to this deck. Uh, mainly on the back of, uh, Galazeth and Goldspan Dragon. Um, these two together, both being four drops, and Zalith coming out on turn threes, um, is just super, super oppressive. Um, and, like, speaking of oppressive, like, we're going to be playing cards like Expressive Iteration, uh, cards that not be super high on the to anticipate with blue red. Um, but just a little bit better, honestly. Yeah. Um, we've got four Frostbite, with solid removal. Um, we've got two Essence Scattered, um, Standard. Uh, there's a lot of creatures that we just don't want to hit the board, whether it be Warnaclex or if we do end up playing the red green deck with the big dumb giant that triples the damage, that kind of thing. Um, we've got a really interesting card, the Eight Time Tone. Um, it's it's really cool. I like it. I've seen it in a lot of different places. Uh, I've seen it scattered across standards, seen it scattered across modern, um, and I just really like it. Really, in whatever deck it's in. Uh, just because of the utility that it brings. Um, two of the best counter spells currently, uh, Mystical Dispute, I think that it's awesome. Um, and it's just super efficient, especially from the mirror match. Like, there's not a more efficient card. Um, Brazen Borrower, um, we've, we're just really high on Brazen Borrower here. Um, the tempo that it gives you is just kind of insane. Um, saw it coming. Uh, four Bone Crusher Giant, uh, two Galazeth, uh, Four Goldspan Dragons and three Aurons of Pithy. Because we like Pithy. Uh, 
Um, yeah, do you have anything? Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's just a really nice, decent, fast deck. Um, uh, also, if you love to kill deck, this mono block death deck. Uh, I have ran into the mono block, uh, matchup, playing around with this deck, experimenting it is, uh, kind of my, what's up with the castle board? Um, I love Galazan, I love Pulse Rain Dragon. I feel like they are really good at being strength for mana, and you get three hours of victory quickly. Um, Although, I do feel like this deck is missing something. Um, there's no command there. There's no Red Sun Zenith or Crackle Power. Um, you can build a ton of mana, but if this deck is more about swinging in with those dragons, uh, than it is about burning, burning them for any Are we not playing this part? If you're not playing this part, you know, it's not in the list. Um, they had replaced it with Express Generation. I do think Express Generation is pretty strong. Um, it's an anticipate where I don't have to choose between the spell and the land and I can get close. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, for Dark Man, you're not wrong. Draw two, discard two, build two damage, three, Treasure Token. The deck doesn't seem to be really built around building a Treasure Token, only to just defend your draw. Okay. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it has been performing fairly well for me. Um, in a little bit of, uh, play test I've done. Who's in the side of the game? 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 Um, yeah. Red Cat Melee, or Red Cat Melee? The Stainful Strokes, uh, Scorching Dragonfire, Shadow Spear, Cinder Plasms, the yeah, Crow in War, and Tomb Shark. One of my favorite songs. Yes. Very good. Um. Is there something else you just want to put another copy of the book after the show? Can you guys hear me? Or, or the audio? Is audio. Or like they're at Did the they bottom of the link. Whoa! Look, chat. Let me restart the audio device a little bit for us. I'm going to throw us in an intermission and then we'll see if that works. And we're back. Jack, can you hear me? Can you hear the man? Hey, there we go. Bronze Bandit Service. So much better. Okay. So, yeah. It has something to do with the audio device. We just restarted it uh, and put on some noise suppression. Logan is better, too. Okay. Hey, good. I didn't know I was bad. Um, so we are missing one card for our side deck here, so we do get to pick something to line it out. Um, bad matchups for the deck. Rogues. Yeah. Um, only because we're not running any cards, can't really do anything about that. Um, the mono black death deck, uh, where they just sack everything that you try and target and destroy you constantly. That one's, uh, pretty annoying as well. No real response to it. Um, Logan I guess... sounds like poop, though. Whoa. Is that just because of my voice? Or is it because of the audio? Because I, I can definitely see it being my voice. <laughs> He's just picking on you, I guess. Who said that? Anyway, chat. Um, I figure today we will continue with... Um, Grinding out the ladder. Do we have any daily challenges that are? Uh, I do us? think that we do. Uh, we have cast twenty black or red spells. Okay, we got attack that. with thirty creatures. Probably gonna hit that. Or cast twenty white or black spells. Mm, let's re-roll that one. So remember, chat. You can re-roll once per day. Thirty white or blue spells. That does help us out quite yeah. a bit. And then we have, of course, our fifteen games. Um, somebody's got a, a, a head start on the XP, um, but I don't know how they done that and didn't rack up five for the for the games. I don't Maybe it reset or something. Uh, but no, now it does look like we're we're set to run all those challenges. So okay. Um, um 
Chat, any challenges today? You guys want to play? Bronze Pen is already ready for us. We'll jump straight into a challenge. That's fine. Uh, Panda, I think you're already on our friends list. If you want to go ahead and send the challenge over, we'll accept it. There it is. There he is. I uh, remember we're doing standard, Panda. And then can you hit the gameplay Oops. scene over there? Yeah, uh, we have to select the deck. There we go. So yeah, click select deck and it just locks our deck into place. <coughs> Take Silver down. Panda. But are we sure this is Bronze Panda? He upgraded. Oof. So, two tap lands and Faceless Haven. We do get to draw. We get a Maze Mind Tome. Prison Bar or Mystic Curse. It isn't a terrible hand. No, it's not bad. I think it's keepable. Yeah. Um, I don't think we have anything we necessarily have to play on turn two, considering his deck. Oh, okay. Well, Yay. Oh, uh, well, I think we definitely start with one of these. Um, we, we're going to need the colored mana first. Uh, red, white. Red, white. Okay. We drew another maze mine to him. That's not wonderful. Uh, I think we're going to start taking a lot of damage. I think we should throw a maze mine tone down. Start putting those counters on there. Yeah. It's going to help us sculpt the top of our deck. Um, help us get to things that we want and or need. And eventually pops for four life. Stone Coil Serpent for three. Sure. Uh, we'll just go ahead and scry here. Um, I think with the way that our hand's going, uh, we are just, like, we're, we're hurting for just one more land. If we get our fourth land, I think we're fine. Um, but I think this just chokes up our hand just a little bit too much. There's um, not really any targets that we would have for it. No. Uh, the serpent has protection from monocolor, right? Uh, see. Multicolor. Multicolor. Okay, so we could hit it with, with either the frostbite or the, the giant. Yeah. The thing is, he is going to sacrifice Alcyon. And give his uh, Stone Cold Sword for protection from rent. Um, so we may want to take that as a target for the Alcyon. But you are right. We will choke up our hand quite a bit. And we need at least one more land. Um, I think it does. keeps going for us. So yeah, I do think that it also gives us a little bit of interaction. And uh, we're, there's just going to be have there's going to be stuff that we have to answer regardless. So I think we can just keep it on the top. But our hand's just going to be choked. Um, I think we'll just keep it on the top. You have to, you have to pay one for that. Yes. So we have to get the snow land down first, but then yeah, we can just burn it away. Okay. Oh, uh, I think that's that's really all we've got. Another threat. Oh, Noda. my lord. So, we have to deal with that quickly. Yes. Um, he can't attack us one time. No. She does. It's kind of just... Ugh. We'll take one. Oh, well, I forgot. It also it... affects others that she is using. Or, oh. uh, so, um, at least Spellbinders to come down. He will probably take... Probably the Bone Crusher Giant. Hmm... Either that or expressive federation. I don't think the rest of them are really doing anything. But mystical dispute. Okay. We're in a lot of trouble. Here. We are. Um. There's the the land that we needed, but do we need it now? If we take it, we can potentially cast two spells. Yeah, we would be able to cast Bone Crusher. Uh, to shock something for two and brazen borrower. I think that's probably the play, but we need to brazen borrower before their combat phase. Yeah. So the spellbinder is what we want to burn for two. Mm. We can always wait till their turn for that. So if we, oh, we have to do it 
now yeah. to Alcyon. Yeah, because Alcyon's protecting Winota. So if we allow them to untap and then try and cast Brazen Borrower, they'll just sack it, make it blue. Yeah. Um. So it's kind of it's kind of rough that we're in that spot, but it can't be helped. And then we'll just pass from here. We're running a super strong meta deck right now. This is insane. Uh, I forgot Winota was a card. Uh, Blade Historian. Let's go ahead and bounce her now. Yeah. And we will still take six. This is insane. This is kind of crazy. Where did Panda come up with this? I'm going to sun coil serpent. Sorcery speed. The only thing I'm missing from expressive iteration is the instant speed. We'll take six. And we'll just scry one. Old fan dragon off the top, so it doesn't help us at all. Um, I mean, we could block the spellbinder with it, but it will die. <laughs> We need something to remove the Blade Historian, sadly. Yeah. And I don't think the Gold Striking, uh, gold Span Dragon does enough for us. Um, so hopefully whatever we hit off the top here is... Trash. So we can Expressive Iteration. The only way we win here is if we Iteration into a Frostbite. Because that will kill the Blade Historian and then we can only take four next turn. Uh, well, raise some power does help. Put one of them into my hand. Um, so we take the brazen borrower to our hand. The next choice goes on the bottom of our library, so probably Galil is there. Yeah. And then, yeah, we can play the land this turn because we have a play to land. Uh, do we want red or blue off of it? Mm. I think we're solid on red. You're right. Yeah, I would probably take blue there. Um, we do have Maze Mind Tone. Uh, that's going to go on when there are four more page counters on it. Um, mm -hmm. We'll gain four life. Yeah, we can go ahead and scry here just to gain four. Because if we do it on their turn, we're going to gain four anyway. Yeah. Um, so there's no point. I think we want that. Yep. Yeah. I think we're just ready so to pass the turn. he still has uh, Winota in his hand. Yeah. So do we hit... Well, there's no way for us to get to Frostbot this turn. Which kind of sucks. Um, I think we just have to pass. There's not really anything we can do. Mm, true... But I think we're going to lose anyway. Yeah. I don't think there's a way. I mean, we have to bounce the Blade Historian. There's no question about that. Because um, we'll take 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So it, that's enough to be lethal there. But when Winona drops on the ground um, and they attack, they're going to place more creatures on the ground, which they could hit another Blade Historian. Um, we have to play into that RNG. Uh, mm -hmm. but... Got to make them have it. <clears throat> All right, so we're on main phase. They cast their creature. We can't really do anything about it. We have to put the Blade Historian back. Yep. Renota drops. Alcyon drops. I think that is probably game. I don't think we'll have a response. We can only hit for three, sadly, and she is a 4-4. Four, four. Hmm. Were those... Why didn't that trigger off of Winota? When a non-human creature you control. That's it's a snake. snake. It's a snake. I don't know why it didn't... Protection from multicolor. Oh, that's right. Mm. So, Panda, I would suggest probably not running the Stone Coil Serpent. 
It does not help you. I did not know that's how that worked. I didn't think Winota done anything for Stone Coin Serpent. I thought it was just when it attacks, you got to look. But that's weird. That's really weird. I no, I saw six lands on top. Oh, oh, oh my <laughs> gosh. Nice. Stonks. Um, we have to express a iteration, right? Yeah. And if we don't get an answer, we have to Bone Crusher Giant to block, but we're still going to eat it. Um, I think Mystical Dispute's going to the bottom of the deck? Maybe? Um, no. Oh. Uh, we can it. hold Mystical Dispute up yeah, for the and Florian. Frostbite this turn. Okay. That works for me. That's so it wants to go to our hand. Next one goes to the bottom. Hand. Next one goes to the bottom. We'll probably the tap land, honestly. Yeah, because if we keep this up, we have blue 1-1 one, one, and then have the red to go ahead and fire off for... It only deals three. I think we're dead anyway. Mm-hmm. I believe so. We have to try and counter the Blade Historian when he gets uh, when he's dropped next turn as well. Mm. Is it whenever Winota or another non-human? Whenever a, a non-human. Non -human. So, so you have to take the Stone Cold Serpent. Or the Alzin. No, because that's a nymph, not a human. Yeah. The Alzin represents the most um, problems for us since it can sack and give protection, whereas Serpent doesn't do anything after it's cast. True. Uh, so I think we'll just get rid of Alzin. And that's four. That's still eight on board. Yeah. We can cast Bone Crusher Giant. I don't think that there's, does anything. I, there's no way to come back from this one, unfortunately, because if we cast a Bone Crusher Giant, we can block uh, Winota. We block four of the damage. Huh. But there's still uh, three, four damage on the board, and he gets to cast Blade Historian next turn. We can't do anything about yeah. it. He gives all attacking creatures double strike, so that would be eight damage as well. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, I just think we have to give it to him. That uh, GG, that hurt. Panda. That deck is Why very, do very that? fast. Who do you get the sideboard against him? Uh, so um, I'm thinking we're wanting all of these babies. Uh, well, we need to deal four damage, but Red Cat Melee does not help us there. It can hit Winota. True. I think that's the only. That's one. That's the only one we needed to hit, actually. Yeah. I think we just, just, it's really just all the removal we, we can pack. Um, so I think you definitely trim on these. Uh, yeah, I think it's either all of them or down to one. I don't think they will win us the game. I don't think so. I think we're mainly going to win the game here with, uh, just with our creatures. So I think we can safely take Alrin's Epiphany down to one. Um, Mystical Dispute is just a three mana counter spell, so it's basically just saw it coming. Um, so I think we can trim on those two, and then I don't think Negate's going to do anything either. So that opens up three more spots. I don't think you played a single spell. Nope. Yeah. Probably take the Negates out, uh, drop the Mystical Disputes because we're not finding a blue deck. So we can fit in five cards. So, but we need to fit in. I mean, this is five, but we need the red cap melees. So we need to fit in eight. Yeah, I'd be willing to go with no epiphanies. We'll just spot it out. Um, Fifty-seven. We have two similar plasmas. 
Scorching Dragon Fire is an instant speed. And it exiles. Mm, I don't think there was too much graveyard interaction, so it's, it doesn't really matter. No. Uh, we do have four copies of a card right now that does three damage to target creature. Yeah. And then three copies of a card that will do four. Our Bone Crusher Giants also do two. Doing one to each creature would be nice uh, for the Alcyons when they pop up. <laughs> we can fit in one more. Um... Let's take in a crow and war. Let's steal something if we can. Okay. I think we'll be that it. guy. I think that's it. Hand is already ready. They've been ready. <laughs> Holy moly, that hurt. That was that was rough. That was, really that was insane. Um I think we want to play first. Yes. Uh tap land, untap land, maze mind tone, gazalef, goldspin dragon, bone crusher. This hand has all answers that we need and none of the land. <coughs> nope. I think the Maze Bond Totem will help us get to the land, so. I think it's we'll all right. We'll keep a two-lander and we'll, I mean, it, we have to play like we're, we're killing everything on the board or countering everything on the board as quickly as possible, so. Do we want to cast the Maze Bond Totem or leave open I think the... We'll probably leave it open and see what he plays and kill it. Yep. He plays nothing. We should have cast it. Uh, nothing in this deck has haste, as far as I'm aware. I mean, it is red white, so possibly could have could have haste. You want to just go ahead and cast the uh, the the maze monster? Yeah, let's just get the maze monster out there and. Uh, Wait till his turn's over. Oh my god. Chat. Big brain plays by silver. Evaporation. He's going to take away our maze vine tone and give us an illusion when we finally decide to do something about that. Hmm. So let's go ahead and activate maze vine tone's ability since we know that that's where the target's going to be. Uh, We can fetch first, then activate oh, yeah, maze vine tone. Uh, do we need red or blue? It looks like red. Yeah, I do see double red in our hand. Uh, we have a red basic and then a red blue land. I don't think there are any double blues in our in our deck at all. Okay. <laughs> So now we get a 2 2 illusion and we get that. I'll take it. We needed a land. Yeah. Yeah, I believe that's right. Clear. I do too. Now, yeah. Is red cap a sorcery? It's an instant. It's an instant. Yes. Four damage, one mana, instant. Uh, if it deals damage, if it kills something that's non-red, we sacrifice a land. Um, if it does kill a red land, it, I mean a, a red thing. There's a red thing right there. Yeah. Thank you. And a frostbite. So we have to do a maze mind tone here for sure. Get in there, too. Who's Thank gone? you for the 2-2, two -two, Panda. <laughs> this is rough, Panda. I don't know what you brought today, but holy moly. Another one. No, kill it. Kill it now. <laughs> Man, that little dog puts in so much work. So much work. I'm a red cap melee. We definitely want to land. We also have an essence scatter. So if we draw like a land, we can either put one of the dragons, or if we don't, we can just keep the mana up to essence scatter something. Uh, but we we need a land bad. Going to get some food. Hoping they don't mess up. Oh, no. I hope they don't mess up your order too, brother. 
If it's DoorDash, uh, they usually. Well, I mean, it do depends it on the the restaurant, but around here, I don't think I've ever gotten one over. <laughs> no, uh, I've had somebody eat some of my chicken nuggets. Oh, nice! That was that was awesome. Didn't expect us to not realize that it was a. <laughs> it, it, my ten piece turned into a four piece. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, that it was it was a rough experience. I I got pretty upset. Uh, now we'll maze my tome. We need to land, please. There Thank we go. You. I ordered something a couple months ago, and uh, it was like they're in the height of coronavirus. And they took my order, and I watched them on the map, and they went to uh, the hospital. Why? And we're just there for like 10 minutes. And just hanging out? So I was like, I called the customer service. <laughs> I was like, I mean, I don't want to be a jerk, but like. They're just kind of hanging out at the hospital and it's coronavirus, so like, kind of don't want to eat that. Is it? Are we able to cast Brazen Barber? We should not be able to. Wait, I mean, you can try? Artifacts you control. Oh, Maze Montome. I was like, why are we? What's, what is happening? That makes so much sense. Oh my gosh, we can take it. Holy moly, that was insane. I did not know that. Yeah, it just... <laughs> okay, I think I think we can gold spend dragon fairly safely here. Oh, we have to sacrifice for that. Yes, but huh? it's not an instant or a sorcery. Let's undo that. I think we want to keep that treasure token, right? Or are we just going to be able to make another one? We'll make we'll make another one as soon as it hits. Okay. Time. Plus, it will make it or the one that we make uh, uh, pop for two mana instead of one. Insane. Now, if we get. Board wiped here. I'm gonna be up yeah, there. I'm, I'm seeing a doom scar in our immediate future. Oh, there, my beautiful creatures. Please, no. Get it, creatures, because magic, the dude, you've got a, a special a special sense of humor. Don't let anyone ever tell you anything different. All right, so what do they see? Uh -huh. I can't, oh, my lord, not him. Get that out of here. Good game. They can Kinrith gain life, can't they? No? No, because we're about to take it. Or do we take the Winota? You take the Winota since they've got no blockers. Like four gold yeah. That was kind hey, of awesome. We came back. We did it. We just had to remove everything he tried to play, encounter it, and put it back in his hand. Yeah. No, I think that's... I think we're good. I think we're ready to run it back. All right. Are you ready for round three, Panda? Panda, please go easy with this one, please. I had a slow hand, too. Oh, that's what I figured. It did, did seem like you didn't get into uh, some of the threats early. Why is it Panda always giving us the run for our money? Frostbite, Bone Crusher, two Goldsmith Dragons, Brazen Borrower, no way to draw any more lands. What are you thinking? We've kept it before and we've turned out okay, but I don't know if it's going to happen this time. We've got three sources of interaction removal um, to at least stem us over, but there's no way for us to do anything. Like, we're not we're not digging, we're not progressing the uh, the board state at all, so... Uh, if we decided, like, this is a much more reactive hand, um, with Panda going first, um, I think this is, it's not great, but, um, we can put it back. I don't know. I'm going to leave it up to you, Logan. Let's keep it. We've done better with worse. <laughs> we have. 
So they reveal the planes. There's a cinderclasm. So we've got a way to poke everything. There's their planes. Okay. No land, but... I'm interested to see your deck list, Panda. When you're done with the, Absolutely. When you're done with the game, please share that in Discord. Honorable War Singer. Uh, well, it will only do two damage currently. I would have three. Oh, spell that's right. Okay. Do three damage. That's gross. Land. Land. There it is. Yeah, let's go. Uh, so we frostbite it, right? Yeah, we just kill everything. Cinderclasm instant speed. Stonks. And we've got Bone Crusher Giant, Brazen Borrower, Cinderclasm. Chat, that reminds me if you don't already follow the Discord, join the Discord. Exclamation point Discord in the chat will get you the link. Um, that kind of sucks. Another uh, war sinker. We can, like, borrow or put it back in their hand. We can scatter it as well. I'd like to leave one of these for either Blade Historian or Winota. Because we don't have super effective answers for it. Not now, anyway. True. Um, that's fun. Come here. What are you doing? Bounce it. So we're tying up their mana. Found another brazen barber. Um... I don't think we do anything. We're not hitting any lands. Um, I think this is where Prismari Command shines, being able to make that yes, that that treasure token. Aha, Panda! You didn't expect us to top deck the same card three times. <laughs> this sucks so bad. We stuck so with lands as well, though. So. Please, not again. Stop. How many times must we say no? How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? <laughs> I sure do love the young people. <laughs> Space of iteration. Okay, so we can iteration here and hopefully get a land and a spell. I'm upset. So upset. Honestly, because... No None of these do we want to exile and not get to cast. That hurts us so much. So much. Uh, but like, if we don't find a land off the top, we're gonna need another expressive iteration. So this is one that we kind of just have to put in our hand. Yeah. Goldspan Dragon can just go away. We've got two in our hand. Like it can be exiled. But we, we want to keep all of our removal in rotation. Yeah. So we'll put that on the bottom of the deck. And exile the Goldsman Dragon. Oh my them. gosh. This is no. They hit the fourth land. Winota, please. Okay. It only took you four turns to finally get it out. <laughs> oh no. That's actually Are you kidding me? terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Terrible. We could cinderclasm and kill both Alzians so we don't have to worry about them. I mean, we can, but we want to dig for a land. All right, here we go. Let's roll it. Number two. I'm upset. I'm sick. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, we're taking this one. Have to. We're going to put... There's only one of the Crow and Wars in our deck. Keep it in rotation. Exile and it's gone. That being said, there's only two Essence Scatters. <laughs> Come 
we don't hit another land, it's, it's just over. Max Tapera is riding with a uh, party of 21. Max! Oh, let's go! Hello, everyone. Welcome to the stream. I am sick. <laughs> For multiple reasons, there's a party of 21, and then I'm sick that we went seven turns without a land. Max, what were you playing? Were you playing Digimon? What you got by the panda? streams in a little bit. Another yes, horse sir. Singer. A horse. million war singers. They never end. Hey, it lands. So these can just tap. Well, they pay. They don't have to tap. I mean, if you cinderclasm first. Kick that baby for three. Please. It's not gonna kill it, but almost hit concede on accident. <laughs> that would have been so bad. Did you mind best Excuse game? Excuse me. I still need to play it. I need to go over to Mark's house and steal oh his decks. Oh my gosh! Sometimes. What is that? It's, it's shale. It's Birdman. The savior here is super, super, super annoying. I wish we still had our cinder glasses. I sure do, too. Because selfless savior can just sacrifice itself. Oh, this is so bad. What do we even do? We can put out gold span, make a token, and then bone crusher giant something. He makes the bird bigger, right? Uh, that entered under your control this turn. Okay, okay. Huh. So we can gold span dragon, which gets us a four four, and bone crusher giant. One thing. It's got to be selfless savior because if we don't target it, it's just gonna sack itself, and it's gonna sack itself anyway. Yeah. Well, I mean, he'll, if he, the play is to sack it. Because if you sack it, then we can't cast our Bone Crusher Giant as a creature later on. Yeah. Um, this just sucks. I think with what we have in hand, though, the only real answer is, okay, so if we Bone Crusher, okay, if we, if we Gold Span Dragon, we leave ourselves with two mana after it attacks so we can throw in the Bone Crusher Giant as well for two damage <laughs> on something that's probably going to get negated anyway. Yeah. Or we could just Brazen Bar over here so we can block their flyer. We would still take six, seven. But we leave two mana open to where we could, we could Essence be. Scatter, the Winota that I'm, I'm guaranteeing is about to hit the field. <laughs> We can Brazen Borrower on their turn and Bone Crusher Giant on their turn. Well, we could double Bone Crusher. This is so rough. It's hard plays. Panda, why do you keep doing this? Just want to say, Chad, if we were playing Grixis, we'd have won. Yeah. Um, just wipe the whole field. I like Goldspan Dragon and Bone Crusher Giant, and you like Brazen Borrower and Bone Crusher Giant. I mean, Brazen Borrower is only going to be able to block the flyer, so the Bone Crusher, the Bone Crusher probably won't hit a target. I feel um, the Goldspan Dragon we could leave it to block. Let's flip heads or tails for whichever one. <laughs> All right, uh, so it's up between Goldspan Dragon and a Brazen Borrower. Heads is yeah, so heads will be. Dragon and Tails will be Brazen Borrower. It's heads. Oh, Lord. Oh, Span Dragon it is. This is so bad. Panda, why do you keep doing this? Oh, we can't. We have to attack with it. We have to, yes. If you don't attack, you don't have counter magic for Monona. 
even if it's not Winota, we're at nine three six. Puts us at one. Yeah, we're not dead. So we have to attack. Because if Winota hits, we're just done. We did. Well, if Sorian hits, we we're dead. Yeah. Block it, Panda. You know you want to. Yeah, block it. Just please. block it. Come on, please. No. Please don't have anything. What are the odds they have shock? Yeah, don't say that. Let's talk about a serpent. For one? Sure. I mean, we can't really do anything about that anymore. We'll eat spellbind. Well, we actually can't let that hit the field because it's going to take something out of our hand. Well, this stinks. What does Food's this do secured, boys. Tell me what you got. Describe the flavor and texture. So we're at one. Slowly. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, more of those, and one of them. No. All right. Well, it's time. Oh, to just... and then they're gonna be able to shale. Just put counters on every. Yeah. <laughs> well, we it was a valiant effort. Um, I think I think that's all she wrote. <laughs> I'm gonna go out fighting. That's it, Logan. Go out on your own terms. Point that at yourself. Haha! <laughs> -ha, I defeated myself. Yeah, you didn't defeat me. You don't win, Panda. Sadly, <laughs> we took that joy away from you. I'm gonna fetch down the zero. You don't win the game. Long John Johns. Long John Johns. I actually had somebody do that and tried to go up and report that they won 2-0 since I didn't kill them. I was like, excuse me, sir? <laughs> no? We are almost done with one of our challenges, though, after just that. One, or one best of three. Really got us there. Yep. Um, we will jump into the ladder now. Uh, let's see if we can try and meet up with some other decks so we can push through. Do we want to change our deck? I've... And throw in the Prismari. I command. think we need Prismari commands. I really do. Like, there was the... I'm Panda. Anytime at all. We'll Thank play you, you every Panda Wednesday. For... If you want to you build up a different deck and come out, come out and just whip us with it. I want to see that deck list, though. I have played against it a couple of times in the ladder with the Soul Tide deck. I don't have as much trouble with it there because I can just remove literally everything every turn, even if it is a four drop or whatever. <laughs> Um, that's the downfall with a lot of blue red decks. I, I feel is that there isn't strong enough burn most of the time. Yeah. Um, or if there is, there's some wild stipulation to getting it. Um, what do we cut for them? Go down to two Alrin's Epiphany, which gives us one spot. Okay. I like that play. I don't see us ever playing three of them. No. If we didn't win after two hours of epiphanies, I don't think we were ever going to win. Yeah, no. Uh, I would say chalk it up right there. Uh, we can also drop down a Maze Montana. I feel like we're seeing that quite a bit more than we actually need to. Um, I think the one negate is extremely odd. But at the same time, I don't want to cut it. But we need four Frostbites. Essence scatters are insane. It's like, cool. out of these two rows, like, negate is the only one that, like, sticks out to me as, like, one that's not doing anything. And technically, we have five answers for instants and sorceries, so, or non-creature spells, technically. And we can go down to two expressive iterations for playing four Prismari commands. Yeah. And that's our four slots. Do we have so... the red-blue Snarl? Uh, we do, but it's not a snowland. Oh, that's right. We're playing Frostbite. We do have four copies of Prismari Command, though. That's our... That's our An amazing one. rare chat. If you guys have not picked up that card, uh... Um, yes. Please, please do. 
Do yourself a favor. Please, please do yourself a favor and pick that card up. It's so good that it's out of stock on the website. It is. I will show you guys. <laughs> we, we don't have any in stock. We do have some of our Evo merchants that have some in stock. And the extended art version is actually in stock for us. Hey, yeah, so you're going to share that. You're going to bling out your deck with extended arts. We do have those in stock. This is a so good one you to can have. pick those up. I mean, Prismari 2-0 in range with my Demir mid-range. Um, That's a funny way of saying rogues. <laughs> Please, stop it. You know it's rogues. Just call it rogues. Don't call it anything. Nah, rogues. not rogues. What do you run? Plays a card that can't, changes the creature type. They're no longer rogues. But they're still rogues. You selected play with the soul tie deck. Stop. Well, well we're going to get Scott one game. With Professor Onyx, also Adventures, also Atris. Such more I totally forgot. Well, chat, uh, let's switch gears a little bit here. We're playing <laughs> Yuri and Sultai now. Sultai Ramp. Um, you keep that. Why not? I swear I if they're playing it too. Goodness. <laughs> oh my god. This is so bad. We have all the green mana we could ever want. We can't, we can't throw that away. Uh, I'd love to see your deck, Spirit Chiller. Uh, if you want to join our Discord, exclamation point Discord in the chat. There's the link. Oh, we're playing cycling. Um, just in the general chat, post a, a deck list. We'd love to see it. In the meantime, this is the oh, extended art of our command on our website, trollandtoad.com. Darn Looks it. Like we got it up for our $5, $5, $6. Definitely a good card. Definitely needs to be put into our deck, uh, or is it deck, to kind of round out some of the damage, some of the ramp with uh, the treasure token, and some of the draw. And we're double red on the Looks other like side. We're two, yeah, two turns away from getting hit with a game-ending spell. Oh, it's cycling. Yeah. <laughs> ah, they're playing improbable alliance. I love that we have three Wolf Willow Havens. Stop. Give me the Fabled Passage. Which one do we want? Thanks, Spirit Chili. I'll check it out. Blue. Um, while we are playing, let's go ahead and get <laughs> our first giveaway started. I can't believe I hit go with Salta. <laughs> so I'm such a silly goose. <laughs> in honor of our mistake the keyword is actually going to be soul tie remember you guys have to be following in order to win the giveaway today's giveaway is for 25 dollars in web credit over at trollandtoad.com uh if you guys are not here for cards or magic there are tons of other items on the site that you can Lots. buy miniatures plushes um there are these things called pixel pals which are light up little displays yep. uh, in 8-bit form they're actually pretty sick um Tons of stuff out on the website. Let's go ahead and give it a look. Keyword Sultai is live. So go ahead and spam that keyword, guys, if you want to be entered into the giveaway. And keep in mind, you must be following in order to win. You still like those pixel pals in my stream, huh? Yeah, dude, they're sick. Spirit Chiller, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. All the green mana we could ever want. All of it. Yes. 
Uh, so what are the odds that we just die? In this turn? From 20 health? There's how many do they have in five, five? There's five currently in the graveyard. No. Depending on how much they cycle on this turn. First, Flourishing Fox, and then that's going to make a token as well. One token. Yeah. They'll get one, but if they cycle twice, this becomes a 4-4, four, 5-6. Four, five, four, takes us to 14. Then if they put two spells in the graveyard, I mean, we're still not dead, but... I don't think they can kill us in one turn. Hmm. I think you Haven. I think you Haven again. Which one? It doesn't matter. <laughs> if we really wanted to be a jerk, we could go look at their hand right now. Pan yeah, Panda's got me. Let's do it. We're here for fun. We're not supposed to be here with this deck. Why not? <laughs> oh, if they've got it, I'm going to be sick. Chess guy cycling is so annoying to face. It is. It is. It is. Every deck that I play, which I usually play control, I always feel like it does not matter how many uh, how many counter spells I hold in my hand. It's never enough for the Zeniths no. that are um, inevitably on the way. No, it's always just, it's never. They've got two. Yeah, okay. Two. It almost makes me want to side... Side Necromancia. Almost makes me want to just go back to playing his dragon. <laughs> sure. Well, you don't you don't technically have to spam. It's just something that our, all of our hosts have been saying. But um, you get the same amount of entry as whether you spam or you don't. Chat. The only thing that we would recommend you spam for is to keep you. Uh, Keep you in the list because Nightbot does remove people randomly. I've seen that happen a couple of different times. Probable alliance again, so more one ones. Uh, so I do think that <laughs> off of a merging ultimatum, we have to get two board wipes. Did we block the five five? Yeah, we don't. We don't take five. What do you got in your hand? Because Nightbot's a jerk. You're not wrong. Nightbot can be mean sometimes. Yeah, I'm not really a big fan of spam either. It's pretty gross. Kind of what? Gelatinous. You don't like spam? I don't like spam, bro. What? Come on. Can't get down with it. It's just ham in a can. Yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> What is he taking so long to decide about? You either... What are you doing there, bud? You do nothing, sir. You're in the winner's seat. Just hang out for a second. I'm about to merge an ultimatum, this man. You don't even know it's coming. You can't do it. You don't have enough... What? You don't have enough of Black man. You need one more black. Oh, I'm sick. So we have the malady here, and I think we're going to die. Do we omen the seed for the boardwalk? It's possible. It's very possible. Come here. We're here for a good time, not for a long time. Give me my mouse back. If we find it, I'm going to be... You're not going to have the double black now. We didn't find it anyway. <laughs> oh, terrible, terrible look. We have a Vorin Plex that we can't cast. Um, We take five, six, seven, eight, nine. They've got two Zenith flares. Two flares. If that's a cyclable card, they'll put two more on the field. And then that's going to get huge. Well, we did what we could, chat. I put us in this situation. You know, we're in best of threes, by the way. <laughs> so, 
to combat this deck, we want to... Uh, Karavek does help us here. They can't cast any more of their foxes. And test of talent. Oh. Fox. Um, midnight clock goes out, right? Oh. Do we take out Kioras? Mm, I don't think we want to take away too many of our... Our... Targets for... Hmm. Emergent ultimatum, but I don't see us casting a Seagate restoration and it being helpful. Uh, Paul Cranus probably will not help us here. Polacranos. Um, Valky doesn't really do anything. In in that form, no. Um, Wolf Even in the other form, no, because they just bring things back. Yeah. Or having them to cast a million times. Um, Jawari disruption. Get rid of yeah. Get rid of the Jawari disruptions and pick up the um, the Erebus intervention because oh. for cheap we can get Yo, rid of their graveyard. I forgot we put this in here last week. <laughs> Let's go. We're never gonna see it. We're never gonna see it. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> not. Uh, Kavoth, King Killer, thank you for the follow. You should like that. to go first, please. Baney Wainies. This is the best Dude, thing I think I've ever bro. seen in my life. Unless you eat the Baney Wainies right out the can. Oh yeah, I mean it's an eighty card deck. It's it's gonna it's gonna be terrible to us every chance it gets. <laughs> I'm so upset. No draw. <laughs> Tons of interaction. Yeah. I mean, we can go this for green. And then Passage, and then we'll, like, Wolf Willowhaven. That's I mean, giving them three turns. Where we do nothing. Do we mulligan to five? I think we can. We I, don't think, I, I guarantee you, if you hit that button, you're going to see four lands in your hand. And then what do we do? Lose. Our deck is built to pull lands out of it. So, I mean, is it that terrible of an idea for us to keep a two land hand? Probably not. We've got ramp right here. Mm -hmm. What do we trade away, though? This one. Because it's a target off of ultimatum. And currently, we're closer to these two than we are this. I think the target we would have for Heartless Act is going to be the Flourishing Fox, and they're just going to cycle it and and make us waste that anyway. Well, let's get rid of him then. Well, let's I mean, I would rather us get to turn five and verdict and still be alive, you know, than, uh, I mean, well, I mean, we didn't see any of our side deck cards anyway, so. Nope. You never do. You could be playing a four-card deck. Side in 13 sideboard cards, and you wouldn't Never see them. You, Never you, you wouldn't see them for whatever reason. The game wouldn't let you draw past the first four. We did draw into an emergent ultimatum, though. Super, super early. We got two lands, you can count them on one hand. Come on, do a lot of stuff this turn. Fox is stupid. Although it is my favorite animal. It's stupid. This deck is just annoying. I do think I'll hate rogues more. Oh, uh, trust me. I, I do as well. But the Zenith, <laughs> the Zenith player is the most annoying card in the history of cards. It says, uh, let me just put, put you that much further away from killing me and also put you on your deathbed. Uh, we need a double black. I'm going to kick myself if we don't draw. Ooh. So they may drop like a Draineth Stinger this turn. Try and increase damage on us. They may not feel like they need to. No. 
I hope they miss lands. If we miss them, you gotta miss them, right? I dined with queens and kings. I've slept in alleys and ate pork and beans. Is well, that from your, your play that you're working is, on, Chris? Yeah, this is the reason why we don't pay you to rhyme. How? How is this possible? It's always possible. <laughs> Ugh. So upset. I mean, what do we even do here? Might as well. Why is it highlighted? Because it, we can foretell it. For, for how much? Two. Oh, you can foretell it for two. Yeah. I thought it's foretell cost was the other way. I was like, there's no way we have that. <laughs> Are we dead? This is why I keep cutting the collectibles budget. Because he's. He has to write rhymes. And Kings and alleyways and pork and beans. Says the same house. man who got upset that Wendy's didn't take the tomato Draw off of one his land. sandwich. One land and we can verdict here. If we're not oh. dead. Seven, eight, nine. Or seven, eight. Please, land. Heartless eye. We lose. We lose. It's all over. It's all over now. It's all over. We kept a two land hand and we consistently had two lands the entire time. We also drew a seven mana spell, a seven mana spell, a five mana spell. Uh, we did not have a good time. All right, chat, let's roll the giveaway. <coughs> oh, it's a newcomer, Kavoth the King Killer. Let's so, go. you have won $25 in web credit at trollandtoad.com. Um, unfortunately it is after hours right now, so we won't be able to add those to your account until tomorrow morning, but I will send the email out for you. Uh, I'm going to shoot you over a DM or a whisper on Twitch. I just need you to respond to me with the email address that you use for troll and toad. If you don't have one, just go ahead and set one up for me. Uh, and then we'll get that $25 over to you as quickly as possible. Uh, we did reach one of our challenges though. Nice. Five hundred points. Uh, so we need to play. I need to select the deck. Is it dragons? There we go. And then hit play. We're doing it now. There's a whisper. We've got a lot of people in here watching me mess up. <laughs> 616 nerd is our opponent. I'm sorry, everyone. I know it may not look like it, but I did play magic for a long time. Now, chat. We were supposed to grab some packs to give away to you guys, but I forgot. So since I forgot, we're going to do some extra web credit giveaways today. And I also don't think... Drew, you didn't give any web credit away today, did you? Drew... Whoa, is... is Drew messing here? up, Logan. Yeah, he's in here. Messing up? The only thing that's going to get messed up is Drew in the next TVT. No, I didn't. And you didn't give any web credits away on the wrestling show Monday. Whoa. Did you? We're going to keep this seven. Nope. That's $50, chat. That's two more giveaways of $25 coming up for you guys. Uh, just okay. keep an eye out. We'll tell you when the they code is Now out. we've hit a problem. What's the problem? What for what color do we play this other river glide pathway? Blue. We have to. We, it, we can't activate any of our other spells if we are. But I want the red. <laughs> I need the double red. Okay. That dies right now, no. sir. We're not dealing with that. I Panda, that's a card that you should probably put yeah. in your Luminar. white, white red deck. Uh, Luminar Please, Experience. It's Aspirant. Aspirant? Luminar Aspirant. Card's insane. That Stops. word. Green, white. Selesnia. Another one. No, thank you. Hardcast Mystical Dispute. I say the name. Uh, well, we got another face this baby. We do have a bounce off Brazen Borrower. 
Yeah, I didn't have room for it. Come on, you silly. You didn't have a what? Uh, if he maps that to their hand, they just get to do that again. Stonks. <coughs> Excuse me, Jeff. Kill it. Kill it with fire. What are they taking? They're taking, like, sock coming, right? We haven't touched our web credit giveaway. Well, what is today, Dave? I gave away web credits last week. I'm fairly certain. Hey, look, another brazen borrower. Why not? Ugh. It doesn't do anything. Four tails of sock coming. I was trying to do math. But, like, the math requires us to draw a land. Which I hope everyone knows that we're not good at doing. <laughs> I don't understand why. I don't know. Like, How do you like my Demir mid-range? I skimmed over the list. It does look pretty strong. I actually think I've played against this. No, I definitely think I've played against this. Because... Please draw land for math's sake. Yeah, I think I've played against this exact deck. Because I... Stonks. Is this, is this your own brew? Maybe I've played against you before, Spirit Chiller. So we've got a... Gaz Galazin. You don't see very many decks right Are you kidding me, you monster? Well... Say goodbye to Galazeth. We don't have it anymore. Stonks. Um. So we don't want to bounce back Skyclave Apparition. I did not account for that in the math. Had absolutely no guidance. I mean, it looks like it's a strong deck. Uh, you look like you have answers for everything that you would have to deal with. We can e play Goldspan e Dragon. Two extinction. That's the four mana exile target creature of Planeswalker card, right? Yeah, that is. Okay. What is their top end in this deck? So we're down to nine. Ugh. Sure. Oh, cause this is supposed to be a tier one deck. What's going on? Well, uh, we don't draw lands. Oh yeah, that's true. Forgot about that part. Well, we can spend all of our mana and cast another gold span dragon if we want. What can they take us to next turn? Three, four, five. I think six, I have a plan. Three. I think I have a plan. I do have a plan. Uh oh. We're gonna double brazen bar on them. Empty our hand. Yo, Drew, thanks for gifting out a sub to the dude. Dude, enjoy that sub. Enjoy those emotes, brother. There are more emotes on the way. Chat, I think we are at 41, maybe 42 followers, or 42 subscribers now. So we are only eight subscribers away from our next emote slot. Um, get to it, boys. Get to it. Oh, we're doing the sub war thing again. Uh oh <laughs> Chris, thank you for gifting out two subs to the community. Welcome. Hey, look Chris, at you. you better... Yo, he finally gave one out. He... I was just getting ready to say, you better give one away to me this Safid, time. Safid, congrats on that sub. Zinkst gang stack. Welcome, welcome to the community. I can resolve. Chat, if you did not know, uh, we don't have the codes up right I have now, no but we hands, will have them sir. up on Friday. Um, our subs get special That's discount fine. codes in our Discord, where you can get up to five percent off store wide. That um, is fun. Exclamation point! Discord what in the chat. Playing? Make sure you have your Discord and your Twitch account linked together, um, and then you should be able to see the special. Um, Special codes when they come up in the correct channel. Okay. Well, his side of the field's not getting any smaller.
But neither is ours. It cost everything, huh? And then you would have to attack with something in order to have the counter magic available. I'm the gift sub king. You do currently have this the gift leading insane, box. And I don't like it. I don't like it when they make me do math. <laughs> seven, I'm trying they really have seven hard. on the field. And I'm trying really hard. Like, I just don't know what their top end is. And I should have fired off a slot coming earlier, but I didn't know what we're playing. Blonde, I didn't want to fire it off. It just seemed bad. But that may also be my stupid Yu-Gi-Oh brain. Hey, Stunt. Out of I am so to glad Godzilla. that I held that. <laughs> no thanks. Yeah. No. <laughs> no thanks. Absolutely not, sir. We smart. <laughs> we smart. As uh, JT would say, I'm not a smooth Wayne. <laughs> oh, sure, that is fun. Sure, why? Why oh, you didn't attack, huh? So now we have blockers for the flyer because we can get a brazen ball over out. Oh. Well. He doesn't block. He takes the floor. He's very brave. I believe he thinks he's going to win this turn, Logan. I think he does too. Sorry, sir. Those are some pretty sick emotes, Chris. Now, if this happens to be something that's super huge left in their hand, I'm going to be... We did it. Sorry, sir. That's a concede. I got this. Okay. So now we need to decide what we're going to sideboard in here. It seemed like their deck was aggressive with removing things from our hand. Um, Get these out of my face. I don't want them. Don't need them. We want red cap melee is not going to do anything. We're just going to be sacrificing the land. Hurt, hurts us. Cinderclasm and Scorching Dragonfire on the other hand. We're going to be okay. Yeah. Now we need to cut two. I think since we are playing four Prismari Command, we can trim the expressive iterations. Okay. Um, we're at 60. I think we're okay. We're up one. So I want to see what they side. I'd love to watch them ramp one man ahead of us into a, ga a Gargaroth and then us a Crow and War. So, <laughs> yeah, no, we can do that. Um, Maze Mind Tome, since we've got Prismar Command, I don't think we're really worried about it. Yeah, we can get rid of the Maze Mind Tomes if you want. But usually you just keep those for HP, but. Uh... This, this card. is green white, so disdainful strokes insane. They are ramping kind of heavy. Now I can see it being dead if they're just dropping a bunch of weenies. But um against their top end, um, it's kind of it's kind You say of that, but we never saw their top end. We Oh uh, we, we saw a two Vorniclex right? and a Elder Gargaroth. Okay. Uh they are playing Wolf Willow Haven, so it does tell me that they're trying to ramp into huge stuff. Maybe the disdainful stroke. I think I think that would probably be the best idea there. Um, yeah, uh, instead of playing on the hope of an accrual in war, which has to have other things that happen. I think it's good. Yeah, I think, I think we're, we're ramping, solid. We're ramping into the mana that we need to protect our creatures, and we should ramp into being able to kill almost everything on their side of the field. I didn't see too many things that had more than three toughness uh, aside from their big drops so yeah. hey look lance it but finally had the hand's not super good though but i do think it's keepable and i don't know if we'll ever see this much land again okay i think we keep it 
RP Grandpa, we do not currently have that. Uh, <laughs> we got stabbed. <laughs> they played deafening silence. <laughs> Damn. I mean, I'm uh, so mad. I'll post the deck list though up in our. I'm so board. upset. Oh wait, I can't sign into that while you're signed in, or it won't sign you out. We'll wait for a minute. Sure. That's not. <coughs> they added the environmental sciences. So they're gonna curve out their mana here. Stonks. Well, we are hitting lands, so that's good. That's fine. So they found their green source. Is that a wolf? Conclave. Oh, I get it now. Yeah. Stuff's about to get real big over there. Ah, I see what's happening here. You are not fooling me. Give me this blue mana. Get this back in your hand. Aha. Chat, let's get the next giveaways going. Uh, so we are playing Is It Dragons, so let's make our keyword Is It. Um, let's see, let me get this live for you. Remember, guys, if you are sub to the channel, you get double the entries into these giveaways. You cannot win the giveaway if you are not following the chat or the channel, so make sure you guys hit that follow button. Uh, giveaway keyword Is It is live. And the giveaway is for $25 in web credit over at trollandtoad.com. That's a lot. You can get a lot of gold span dragons with that. You absolutely can. I'll even show you the, the listing for them. Uh, gold span dragon. Really good boy. Really good boy. Um, Funclave Mentor is fun. We have some of the regulars still in stock. One of the best cards I felt oh like came out of Kaldheim was gold span dragon. He just feels really nice. Really fast, uh, burst damage can get us to the mana that we need to protect him or to remove things on the other side of the field. Oh my goodness, what is happening here? Uh, so whenever, nothing now. Silly goose. Um, you fool. You're definitely gonna get hit for four. Um. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Or you can put towards Modern Horizons 2. You're not wrong. Modern Horizons 2 was uh, pushed back a week. Um, I think you're going to talk about Modern Horizons on the stream this, this week? Uh, I this? do think so. I do think I'm going to do my best to cover uh, some of the really, really good stuff that's, that's coming out of that set. <laughs> and when I mean good stuff, I mean stuff I, uh, as as a Magic player, I've been begging for for essentially my entire life. <laughs> So if you're excited about uh, looking over some of the Modern Horizons 2 cards or hearing some of our thoughts on that, Logan will be live with us on Friday since Jeremy will be out of town on vacation. Um, he will be covering the Magic stream at 2 p.m. Uh, and we'll go over some of that stuff. I even do some drafts. You know. we'll silly goose. Oh, no. Snakes can veil. How dare you? Well... scared that doesn't say anything about how many creature spells I can cast um, how much does that take to activate three is there a way it's three snow mana 
And you have a bunch of uh, flip cards, so. One, two, three, four, five. One. No, we're short one. Z, untap that. Four eight eleven. Does the Doom Scar come out, chat? Will we see it? Or does he have some way of turning this into a twenty twenty and swinging straight through us? Is a pre-release draft available this Friday is on Arena for Modern Horizons? I don't think so. I know some stores have been allowed to do pre-releases, but... I don't think that you would be able to play that on Arena. No. Sure. I'll play Pintor. Doesn't have reach, so we don't care. Oh. Another one. We may be dead. No. Okay. We did it. We won. The silly goose. We need to get a silly he goose. He did have a way to make it large, chat, but not large enough. Not large enough. So let's go he, ahead and get. He our could not supersize. Giveaway. Go oh, no. I did not. Okay. I'm, Is it? I'm neglecting my duties here, chat. Uh, we just finished a lot, actually. We are very close to. Um, one of our other challenges, and we have been making a lot of progress on some of the others. So, uh, playing this Is It deck, we've already finished one challenge. We are five spells away from being able to finish another one, and we've got three of the uh, two of the other ones for just playing two games. Um, so we have done two, three, four, five challenges already on three games uh original dragon thank you for the follow if you are new into the chat i'm giving you one last call for the giveaway our giveaway keyword today is is it we're giving away 25 dollars in web credit at our store trollandtoad.com uh go ahead and enter into that and then we are going to go ahead and roll you got it germs germs congratulations germs is one of our winners uh from almost every single stream we ever do yeah. so <laughs> we'll definitely hit the web credits up over to you at your usual address there sir we have one more giveaway for 25 dollars sure web so credit we also have 30 around. minutes left in the stream um while we got some time and some people in here let me talk to you guys about the shows that we have upcoming this week we stream every week, multiple uh, shows. I think we're up to eight shows now. Don't count those on me, chat. But we have, on Mondays, the wrestling show, Tables, Ladders, and Trolls, where they talk about what's happened in wrestling, their yep. predictions for what's going to happen in wrestling, how Chris is very unhappy with Vince McMahon and wishes that he could unseat him from his power. Um, that's a pretty decent stream that we have every Monday at 5 30 5 30 to 7 30 so you guys have enough time to watch raw that night um wednesdays two o'clock uh eastern time is the drew's pokey shop Drew. um this week is a vod you guys should check out was his spice challenge so uh we are a sister company with a company called old uncle porkers uh they sell pork rinds they sure do various flavors of pork rinds they are great the bar is great today drew and uh some some of the ladies from our company were trying out some of their new flavors some of the flavors that are on deck uh some things they need to get rid of heard there was a pickle one there was a beer one Woo! and it was disgusting did you try it? i tried it and i regretted it immediately was it like there was a ketchup one oh and it chris was, would hate that it was disgusting maybe we should make chris eat those you know since he hates ketchup. So. Oh, they're very bad. But they have some really good flavors, uh, too. Their churro is great. Churro is amazing. They, there was a new one today, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I think. Well, I don't think they can call it Cinnamon Toast Crunch. 
we don't want to get you know the axe dropped on us by big daddy kellogg but uh <laughs> <laughs> it was probably the best pork rind i've ever eaten in my life uh so cinnamon roll is what it's called yeah so if you guys can if you're looking for a good source of some pork rinds check out old uncle porker old uncle porkers.com they got some dope stuff yeah um, um i think next week though drew will probably be back to playing pokemon snap so he can finish up his review video of that more snap oh wait no next week is chilling rains right drew it shouldn't be if it doesn't get pushed back if it doesn't box get break chilling rains that's right. We're doing a box break. It'll be live on our channel. We haven't seen it go up yet. We're waiting for RT guys to get that done for us. But as soon as it does go up, we're going to be posting about it on social media. So if you don't follow us there, definitely follow us either on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, whatever your choice is. Um, we will post as soon as the box break goes up and you guys can buy slots for that yep. and watch those cards be opened live on stream. Now that set doesn't technically release until Friday. So you get to see what you're going to get out of the box early. Yep. But we won't actually ship the cards to you until the set releases. Yeah, the first wrestling episode is on YouTube. Uh, what else do we have? That's Wednesday. When, uh, every Wednesday at 6 o'clock, Standard, Logan, and Kelly. Um, Thursday, we have Troll versus Toad, which is... We're going to be lining out the details on this one on the next show. But it looks like you guys wanted us to play some video games. Uh -oh. We do have quite a few retro video games that are out there on the floor. Um, so we'll probably pick something out of the, the inventory there and we'll fight it out for your guys' entertainment and see who the king of video games is going to be here in the, the company. Um, Thursday night. Wait, am I missing a show? Yes, I am. We have a new show. Thursdays at 4 o'clock. Uh, TNT Tactics, our tabletop show. All things tabletop with Jason Palmer and uh, Josh Hampton. Uh, that last show they did was very informative about some Warhammer stuff. So if you guys can take that vault out, definitely do so. Um, and then after that, Hampton comes right back for a painting stream called Happy Little Orcs. It's basically like Bob Ross. If Bob Ross just talked about space marines all the time. Uh, it's the Star Trek stream. As JT yeah, as JT would call it, the Star Trek scene. <laughs> Uh, Fridays, we usually have Magic with Jeremy at 2 o'clock, but he is out this week, so we will have Logan going over some Modern Horizons 2 stuff. Um, Fridays at 6 o'clock, we have the Yu-Gi-Oh! Super Show. Show. I'm not going to yell it like Drew does. Uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh! Super Show with JT. That is an amazing show if you guys haven't watched. Yeah, it is, it uh, is JT, fun. JT gets drawn off the rails by chat the entire time yeah. and ends up just being us yelling at him. Yeah. I've been uh I've been a guest on that show multiple times. Is this a keyboard? It's, <laughs> it's great every time. Um is that Mark? And then not this Saturday, but alternating Saturdays. So next Saturday, we have CNH Collectibles where we go over some of the collectible pop figures, uh, board games. Uh <laughs> board games like uh Excuse me. anything that's collectible. So you'll see pops board games the pixel pals sometimes make uh make an appearance based on what their topic they're they're covering um but it's it's really informative they get to talk about a lot of the things that they love um it's usually centered around, centered around some of the stuff they also do giveaways for those kinds of things mm -hmm. um so it's a it's a very good way to to get your hands on some of those you may have um, seen in the last couple of weeks we posted a giant a uh, picture of a uh, a large kool-aid man pop figure oh, yeah. that was one of the giveaways for the collectible streams crazy stuff like that um and then directly after that at six o'clock on saturday every other saturday so starting next saturday um we have our DD stream DD planar escapades um it's an absolute riot the sound has been an issue chat over the last couple of streams and we do know we are aware of it um, we're working on a solution for that. We will get back to you guys as soon as it is finished. And uh, you guys can check that out for yourselves. Um, other than that, maybe more shows coming your way. Maybe more box breaks. Maybe box breaks on our current shows. Uh, I, we had some interest from you guys in buying product and just watching us open it. So we're actually going to try and set up a section on the website where you can buy some packs. Either Pokemon packs during Drew's Poke Shop or Magic packs during our show. And we will bust those live on the air for you so you can see what you get before we send them out to you. Yeah. Um, yeah. 
that's pretty much all we've got going on so definitely make sure you guys follow uh hit that notification button so you guys can uh get notified when we go through follow us on discord because we post when we go live in discord follow us on social media uh okay i've talked for way too much now <laughs> we have 20 minutes left we can probably get one more game in and most likely finish out these last two um challenges but while we are waiting for the game we will start a giveaway so we have been paired with airy strike see what we've got here Let's see what we're playing against that will probably end up being our keyword i'll open up packs from the wrestling stream and collectibles i don't care well will you sell tops uh wwe cards so sure if you might want to buy some wwe sports cards or any other sports cards at all we can open those packs up for you as well i don't know if you all have been seeing this or not but uh <sighs> That is probably the fifth time we've we've drawn our hand and had less than three lands. <laughs> I think we keep this one and Gold Span Dragon is the tuck back. Yeah. So a We're gonna throw out our and a giant killer. Please, I'd love to open some tops. We need to get Jeremy in here to talk about he he was telling me that a story the other day about a sale he he had made. Um, or a, a purchase that we recently made for some sports cards that was insane. Uh, you'll have to get him to tell you about it, though, chat, because I can't remember all the details. Uh, so we're going to play Maze Mind Tome. I just don't think that there's anything that's really uh, baiting out the, uh, uh, the Frostbite here, but um, this is either going to take Galazeth, Goldspan Dragon, um, Logan, just normal summon Alistair. Who said that? Mark. Mark, you know I don't normal summon Alistair. Let me pull a John Cena autograph card and I'll jump through, jump out a window live on stream. John Cena's me. Is the card see through? Or can you just not see him on the card? I don't think I've ever like seen John card, Cena. Probably? I've only ever heard of John Cena. I don't think I've ever seen John Cena. Mm. It's crazy. I bet his kids say the same thing. That's that's a terrible joke. I'm sorry, John Cena, if you're out there watching. <laughs> uh, Are you sure about I that? I didn't see you there. <laughs> Hello? All right, so it's mono white that we're going up against, so let's just do mono white as our keyword, chat. I'm going to kill this. Right, no, I'm not. So once again. I forgot. No, I'm not. I'm stupid. I thought I had three snow lands. <laughs> one more turn and it would have worked. Yeah, one more turn it would have worked. I'm so stupid. It's so late. I think the heat's getting to me. Did you scry that turn? I sure didn't. You could have drawn a card. I'm so bad. Why did that enter tapped? Keyword mono white is live. Go ahead and start spamming away, chat. Remember, you must be following to win the giveaways. Subscribers oh, get this twice the entry. thing makes our snowlands enter tapped. Oh, I'm sick. Uh, Logan, we can't win here. Are you sure about that? That's a lot of damage. Is, uh, who says that? Who's the guy that says that? That's the Billy Mays. Well, I don't think he's Billy Mays. I don't know Billy? the guy's name. No, yeah, what not, is a guy? It's it's a new guy for the flex tape, though, right? Flex seal. Now I'm gonna saw this boat in half. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> he's actually really popular on TikTok for no reason. So <laughs> fifth mana for it's nothing. Gonna enter, yeah, it's gonna enter tapped. Did you hear that? Let's pretend like we didn't. The, the ghosts are mad at me. Again. If y'all don't know, the Star ghosts Trek haunt stream? me. Who said that? JT, I think 
I think your brain injury may have been permanent, brother. <laughs> JT, uh, your stomps. <laughs> GT, uh, GT, JT, uh, Friday, uh, the Yu Gi Oh Super Show. Uh, it needs to be Star Trek oriented. So play Cosmos. You were looking for a deck to play? I am Phil You're... Swift for flex tape. There's a, there he is, Phil Swift. <laughs> Obviously made up name. JT, play Cosmos on stream. It's Star Trek related. Are you kidding Sky me? Clive. No. No. What do you say? Hi, I'm Phil Swift for flex tape. Star Wars and Star Trek are the same. That's Star Wars, you silly goose. Star Trek and Star Wars are the same. Y'all can hate me if you want. I ain't getting into it, chat. You you deal with that one. Does this have anything else? Our lands it's a joke. Please anymore. don't. That will they enter untapped now. Except for that one. <laughs> yeah, we're dead. You block three in the air. You block three on the ground, too. Yeah. That's about it. Oh, giant killer. You I will roast you tomorrow. Who? Who said that? JT. JT. Isn't that... JT's just a silly goose. Why don't you go jump back in the pond if you want to be a silly goose? Yeah, JT. JT, get in the pond. It's raining outside. JT, I'm going to have to call your washer again, aren't I? They tap. <laughs> oh. GG. It was fun. I wasted a red cat. <laughs> I wasted a frostbite. I didn't put a counter on and scry. <laughs> I didn't draw a card. Uh, so that game's definitely on me. We're getting rid of our Alvarez Epiphanies because we have not seen them ever. And they don't help us at all. Period. Nope. I'll tell Brittany to beat you up. Uh-oh. Brittany? They're, he's bringing in the fair sex. The Brittany will kick my butt. It's true. Brittany will kick my butt. Please don't. Uh... So what do we them for all their their one toughness? Uh, no, not that one. We're gonna burn them up with the dragon fire. I don't think we actually need it. I mean, red cap melee is the only one that we're not gonna be able to use. Yeah. But we do need to cut two. And I feel like those two are mystical dispute. Okay. I have we no also problems with that. We put four in our deck because we didn't have them. I'll never see him. We still have not had them. I'm so upset. I don't know. I've been seeing a lot, Two lanes. Two a lanes. lot of problems with uh, Arena recently. Uh, I mean, while streaming Arena two or three days ago, I had an issue where someone cast a card on me for less mana than the card was worth. So they got to cast it. They cast a gold span dragon for four instead of five somehow. I also had uh, a game where I was playing against rogues. We'll go first. I think we're only going to have. Oh. I placed a Kroxa on top of my deck. I managed to stop them from being able to mill me that turn. And when I drew the Kroxa for my turn, it was a different card. So we saw four lands. <laughs> of course. One red mana. Uh, the selfless savior is going to Yeah, be. no. I hate this little dog. Is Swagtest still around? That's no. Not. Thank the That's Lord. Like one of the only magic cards I remember from the short stint of magic I tried to play back in the day. Mark, <laughs> get in here right now. We're playing magic. The Ragtusk was, it was too much. Thrag Tusk was too much. Wow, they really want to protect their stuff, huh? This little thing's going to be annoying.
Why don't Do they have it? another? Help. I'm screaming on the inside. I don't want to burst chat's ears, but <clears throat> I'm upset. I mean, the good news is we can S scatter whatever they want to protect. Yeah. No, I don't think we're in a super terrible spot. I hate night killer. I hate it. I mean, can't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't counter it. No. But I, I hate, hate it. it. Mono white, mono white, mono white. Can you boys really want to win. Can you please stop? giving me lane chat let me know in the chat what you guys go go and do with your 25 dollars in web credit if you win yeah y'all could and the people who have already won tell me what you're gonna do with that i'll another i'm gonna one. scream if there's either another selfless savior or an aussie of life's bounty there's frostbite. a frostbite okay i'm picking up what they're laying down I mean, double dragon back to back. That's that's got to be hard to deal with for anybody. I think so. And if they doom scar, I mean, you wipe your own board at that point. Want to get typing one of the precon decks if I win? What, which precon deck are you gonna get her? Blue white, blue white. Wait, blue it's white. web credit, mono white. It is web credit. Uh, employees are not eligible to win web credit. Sadly, only physical items. The silver quill one. I You've been talking about that for so long, I figured you had already got it. Get out of my face, elite spellbinder. Paulo Vito, Dama de Rosa. Get out of my face, please. We gotta get those web credits over to you at some point. Oof, never mind then. Sorry, Mark. I wanted to... <coughs> oh my goodness, I wanted to have packs. Should've got something to drink before I came in. Burn it! Burn it all! You can selfless save your one thing. Please do it. Please. I'm gonna sack you so hard. Burn it. Sorry, friend. Mono so green. Yeah. What do they play here? Crawling Baron. Super annoying card. Does not have reach though, so it doesn't nope. matter. You can't reach me. I'm in the sky. Go aggro. See, this is what I mean about the deck not having a command man. You have a million mana here. You can do anything you ever wanted. Why not hit him for 96 damage with a this red sun zenith, you know? We swing eight, which is lethal in the air. He has to block one of them. This is his creature. I'm excited for the Warhammer. We haven't fed the bear today. today. There you Warhammer go. Warhammer 40k too. It's commander. What do you think I enjoy? They, they actually. Do what is that? Sick. Legion angel. Oh, uh, doesn't matter. Can't block. I think we run one it back. To one. Can we come back? Can we come through? We've got six minutes left in the. Oh, we've got this stream. Uh, place your bets now. How many lands do we open in our hand? Two. Yes, two. My money is on two. Two. I was right. <laughs> Hey, uh, Chris or Drew, if you're still in the chat, you left your chocolate milk, um, <laughs> left your chalky milk in here, or just a half gallon of chalky milk sitting on the table, so one of you is going to have to drink that tomorrow. Okay. I got exactly what I wanted out of that. Why don't you use your web credit winnings to buy a D Digimon TCG premium pack? I need someone to play with. You need to get into Max's chat, Mark. Max Tapera. The guy who hosted us earlier or raided us. Um, I'm sure he would probably do a remote duel or something like that with you. Oh, I've heard he's pretty good. Played That's Drew's chalky milk. Well, 
Well, both of you are going to have to drink a cupful. It's going to be chalky chunky milk in the morning. It's true. It will be. We're going to get an island here just to be able to cast everything in our hand. <coughs> Chris Mari command is live. I don't know what Dranith Magistrate is doing. Oh, I mean, I, okay, now I get it. But, so they take the Bone Crusher drawing away. That's fine. With those web credits, I pick up some of those Troll and Toad sleeves. They are sick, right? They Randall? are in. I really thing. like the white ones. Um, I wish that they were standard card size. It's my only complaint. We apparently wanted to go with the Yu-Gi-Oh! first. Yogimons. Hmm. What else do you have? Nothing. Okay. Give me that. I will take that and hold up this essence scatter. Yeet. Why not, chat? Why not? Please hit me with this doom scar. I want it. You play a land and a doom scar. If I can clear over sleeves, so I can buy the ones that I bought so you can keep them pristine forever. Excuse me, sir. This is a Wendy's. Get the faceless apron out of here. Do we trade? If you block, you trade. That's okay, right? Uh, it just changes it from you between sacking and not sacking those treasure tokens. All that matters. I don't think. I mean, taking them off a of land. Oh, they're gonna give it protection. Stonks. Ooh. They have bamboozled me. Blue. Expressive iteration. So we. Okay. Oh. Scorching dragon fire. Do that again. Move the borrower up to cast. Burn it! And we still have an essence scatter holder. Yep, we sure do. Can't play the. Saw it. Borrower. Kind of Season Hollow Blade. Card a card, it gains indestructible until the end of turn. I think that's fun. I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about that. Yeah, that's a little worrisome. Hmm. This sucks. Can we just have a lightning bolt back in the set? I, you have no idea how bad I want lightning bolt back. I have to pay one more for it? Yeah, because the elite spellbindered it. It actually makes it cost two more. Well, that sucks. I mean, should you not just go ahead and do it? He has to discard a card anyway. Oh, you're wanting to cast it. I thought yeah. you wanted to target it. Well, he has no way to protect Faceless Haven. So, like, he can just run it into this if he wants to and True. get rid of a card. But at worst, like, it makes it to where he's not activating Faceless Haven. Reprint Lightning Bolt 2021. Give it back to me. Oh, no! Oh, man. No, it still does. Still trade. Still trade. That's still sucky, though. Oh. <laughs> we didn't. I think their clock is still faster than yours. 
Yeah. Unfortunately. Well, we can't counter anything they want to do, so. Crawling Barons is still on their side of the field. Oh, no. Oh, forgot about it. To be fair, I haven't seen this land much. In out of all the games we've played, we haven't seen that one. This card's annoying. Yes. Yeah, their clock is way faster than mine. Oh, <gasps> okay. That does things. It cannot target the barons. It cannot target the barons? Nope, it's a land. Okay, so he's going to have it become a 4-4. Four, four. Yep. Um... Oh, it is now five five. Oh, the unfortunate part about this card is that it's going to be a seven seven on the next turn. Wait, I think we win, right? You hit seven here. Yep. We block with Faceless Haven this turn. Yeah, we sure do. I was deep in the tank. I was, I was thinking. I was like, well, we have to have like an efficient one. Here's a flyer. We can't, we can't tap the Faceless Haven, or we can't. Oh, they tapped their crawling yep. parents. Right? They sure did. Nice. Nope. We say no to everything, sir. We did not allow. So we're Woo! over about three minutes, but we still win. They tapped their crawling barons, and that was the game at that point. Yeah. Uh, chat, watch those auto taps. <laughs> yes, auto tap is they, terrible. They will get you. Um, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and roll our final giveaway. So last call, chat. Bam away, mono white. Mono white. We also finished one of the challenges, unlocked 1,050 XP. And a pack. Nice. Let's go ahead and open those three packs while we're waiting here. Um, rolling it. RP Grandpa. You won the giveaway, but unfortunately, you are not following. So we will have to re-roll that giveaway. We got to... I do uh, apologize, uh, chat, but keep card. in mind, you have to be following our channel in order to win our giveaways. Vanishing Verse. As the last rare. That places the win over on germs instead. <coughs> Sorry about that, Grandpa. So don't feel discouraged about that at all. We have streams coming up again tomorrow. Um, each of our streams is supposed to be giving out web credits, and they haven't been. So call them out on that stuff, chat. We'll give away some more web credits. Uh, tomorrow we have, it's Thursday, so we will have Troll vs. Toad starting at 2, TNT Tactics starting at 4, and at 6 o'clock we will have Happy Little Orc. So that is a six-hour block of streams where you can win $25 in web credit on each of those streams, yep. and I believe that they're going to have about $25 worth of actual physical products that we have here yep. on site for you guys to win. Um, so you can win some, some items there. Um, let's see. Germs wins all the credit giveaways. He usually does. That's absolutely true. Yep. Germs, Panda wins a lot. Um, Escadouche has won a lot. It's true. Um, 
Who else? Who am I missing? Um, I remember Mouse. Mouse used lot. to win a lot. Yeah, um, Mouse used to win a lot. Germs, are you the one who won the three hundred dollar Yu Gi Oh card? The what? Oh yeah, we opened up. Uh, was it a Ghost Ray or chat? Oh my gosh, Germs, you crazy man! Oh, uh, what about the guy that won the uh, the hyper rare uh, V Max Pikachu from Vivid Voltage? The week that it released. Jeez. <laughs> We give away cards here, chat. Yeah. <laughs> no, so like, uh, that's another thing with the with the box break coming up soon or um, whatever uh, Drew's going to be doing. You know, like that's the re the release for Chilling Rain. So there's going to be, you know, a chance for somebody to pull the big card out of that. Even, there will be um, if there is uh, giveaways for that. So yeah, and if a, if product allows for it, if we've got the the additional packs in stock, I'll try and grab some of those for giveaways for you guys as well um but yeah this month we're ramping up production on our youtube channel so please if you sure guys don't are. already subscribe to us on youtube go subscribe hit that bell icon i know that we've been posting mostly long form videos where they have just been our vods but this month coming out we have some edited videos that will be hitting um, one of those videos is how to earn resources resources in uh magic the gathering arena so you can build some of the decks yep. that we're playing here today um we do appreciate uh you guys stopping by i think welcome to everybody to the discord um spirit chiller i like the deck that you showed me and i am a blue black player so i think i'm going to try and build this i would love to play against you at some point as well so we'll uh if you want to stop by next week we'll try and set up some challenges as well uh i need the web credit though just need time warp and day of judgment to complete the japanese foil mystical archives just need time warp and day of judgment you have all Very the other cards. ones that is insane germs thank you guys so much for the gaming stream hope we win four web credit giveaways or the viner of the heralds <laughs> but uh that's it for us today chat um i'm gonna go ahead and pop us over onto our ending screen so we can get out of here it's gonna take forever for that to load uh, but as always, my name is Kelly. Uh, this is Logan. Uh, this has been Magic the Gathering Standard with Logan and Kelly. Uh, I will be live after this on my personal channel, but you guys probably don't want to watch that. It's not going to be anything card related. I think we're going to be playing some Escape from Tarkov. That's over at Bearded uh, Twitch TV slash Bearded Portal. Let me go ahead and do that shout out at nine, Chris. Uh, also giving a shout out to my boy, Drew leader, uh, owner of the poke shop, fat boy, three nineteen. If you guys don't follow him on uh, Twitch, go ahead and give him a follow. Usually he does more card related stuff. He was opening some Pokemon cards. Um, and he does some stuff like Dokkan battle and WWE, whatever card game that is. Um, but yeah, I'll catch you guys next week for my next stream. You'll see Logan on Friday. I uh, hope to see you guys all back for our streams tomorrow. Thank you guys so much. You make every day wonderful for every us. Every single uh, one of them. We can't thank you enough for allowing us to do what we do. So uh, we'll see you guys next week. Have a good night.